Fakaya, thanks so much for taking the time. First of all, I just wanted to ask, how have you been enjoying your time in Milan so far? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, really enjoying it. And, um, you know, uh, everyone's been really welcoming with me. And uh, on the pitch, it's been good as well. Um, <clears throat> we're still fighting at the, at, right at the top of the table. So, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And um, obviously, it's a bit, the, the times are a bit difficult with uh, COVID and stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm, just, I'm still managing to, to see part of the city and, uh, and, and feel the city as well. So, yeah, it's been good. And I just wanted to ask, before you move, uh, at Chelsea you have a few teammates who have Serie A experience, including Thiago Silva, who was at AC Milan last time they won Serie A. I'm just wondering, did, did he give you any advice before you move? Yeah, I mean, Thiago doesn't really speak much English, so uh, it was hard. Um, but yeah, a lot, a lot of players, you know, like uh, Matteo Kovacic, who played in Milan, and Tony Rudigo, who played in, in Roma, um, you know, all these kind of players, um, you know, when they, when they kind of find, found out and saw that I could be coming, um, you know, they'll ask me questions and I'd ask them questions about what it's like and, you know, they only had pos positive things to say about Italy as a whole and, um, <clears throat> and uh, Syria. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, my, at that time, my, my mind was pretty much made up already, but, um, you know, that kind of, uh, you know, filled me with a bit more confidence. And I was reading online that you got a call from Paolo Maldini. First of all, what were you doing when that phone rang and what was it like to pick up the phone to him? I was just at home. I was just at home. Uh, you know, my agent uh, asked me about it, and um, I was like, "Yeah, like, is this, what time? What time is it going to be?" So, um, yeah, that that was a that was a surreal moment. It was more about um, you know seeing you know, you know what I was like as a person, and you know, in, you know, kind of introducing me to Milan. Not that I needed much <laughs> introducing about Milan, but um, yeah, it was it was um, it was pretty standard stuff. You know, nothing too too heavy or anything like that, and. Um, you know, I felt that, you know, he was keen to bring me here and, um, you know, that keenness um, made me keen to, to come as well, even more keen. So, um, yeah, I'm happy that, um, that it happened and, um, and I'm happy to be here. And you've played four games now and under your belt at AC Milan. First of all, how have you found the kind of football compared to English football? Yeah, I think here um, it's a lot more tactical. Um, there's a lot more um, thinking going on and, you know, a lot more positional awareness. You know, in England, uh, you know, the game's a lot faster, you know. <laughs> Something like, uh, you know, when the goalkeeper catches the ball and, you know, suddenly you've got strikers and wingers, you know, bursting up the pitch and here it's a bit more, a bit more structured and, and a bit slower. So, um, you know, that aspect um, is different. And, um, yeah, I think that, um, you know, the, the, the structure of the team and, you know, the way the team attacks and defends together and moves as one is, is a lot different to how it is in England. And do you think that's kind of improved your game and will improve your game over time to have that kind of different style of football? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, you know, there's a lot more instances where you're 1v1 and, you know, you have to be aware of where the ball is, where the man is, where you need to be standing at a specific moment when, or in relation to the ball and stuff. So, you know, those kind of stuff um, um, are different and uh, it, it does take some getting used to. And, um, you know, luckily, you know, the manager and the players have been really helpful with me and helpful to me, um, you know, especially with the language barriers or helping me, um, you know, know exactly where I need to be, what I, what I need to be doing for the team. And so far, it's going really well. And I wanted to ask, actually, about one of your teammates, as Lassan Ibrahimovic. What is he really like in the changing room, and what has he been like with you? Yeah, with me, he's been he's been great. You know, he's not. Um, I guess you know what what maybe people think of him. You know, he's a very um, obviously he has a big personality, and um, you know he's he's a legend in the game, and um, you know he, he's very much a motivating um, factor and a motivating personality in the change room. Um, he's very much a, a leader and. You know, even before the games, you know, you hear his voice all the time on the pitch. You hear his voice in training. You hear his voice, you know, and he's, it's not more, it's not, um, you know, in a bad way. It's, you know, it's a, it's in a motivating, encouraging way. And, um, you know, obviously to get to the levels he's got to, you know, the, the, the quality that, um, that he showed, uh, you know, you can see that in, in the way he talks and, you know, the way he plays as well. And, and is he like that? You know, we see him in the media. Is he exactly how he is in the media and maybe what you see on social media in the change room and kind of among the team? Uh, no, I would I wouldn't particularly say so. I mean, I've only been here three weeks, but um, you know, he, so far, you know, he's, he's as I said, he's very much you know you can see uh, there's a there's a real focus to him and a real um, determination and, and motivation, um, you know, internally within himself and uh, you know to to see that up close from different to what as we said we've seen on social media to see that kind of personality is uh, is really fascinating and um, as I said you can see why he's got to the levels he's got to. And just looking ahead to next weekend, it's the Milan derby in the league. You made your debut in the Coppa Italia against Inter. I'm just 
What was that like to play in that game? And also, what are you looking forward to in the rematch? Making my debut in, in the Milan derby is, uh, you know, wasn't something, you know, I was, I would have ever thought, you know, would happen. Um, you know, leading up to the game, um, you know, I, I, I thought back to all the times, you know, you've seen AC Milan into Milan, you know, on, on TV. And, um, you know, in, in England, you know, that's, that's always been a big game. And to, to come in and, and make my debut in that game, you know, it's a dream come true. And, you know, at the San Siro, there's nothing much more you can ask for. And, you know, going into this game on Saturday, you know, both teams, you know, first and second in the league at a crucial time. So, yeah, it is going to be an intense game. And as you said, there's no fans, but during your debut, I know you came on, but did you still feel that kind of intensity? And again, does that compare to any of, say, for example, the London derbies you've played in for Chelsea? Um, yeah, I think here, uh, you know, without the fans, you know, it was it was a bit different. But even driving up to the stadium, you know, you see flan, fans outside with, with massive flags and, you know, you see them, you know, chanting and, and waving their hands about. So, you know, you can definitely feel, you know, the, the passion from the fans and, you know, coming into the game, you know, when I was asked to warm up, when I thought I was coming, when I, well, when I was coming on, you know, I was found myself, you know, a bit nervous, you know, and, and I don't really get nervous. So, um, you know, that was the first time in a while. But obviously, once I got on the pitch, um, <clears throat> it, it was a lot, it was uh, it was fine. But, you know, just kind of seeing the red and black stripes and the blue and black stripes, you know, it is, it is something, you know, amazing. And, um, yeah, compared to London derbies, I think, um, you know, I, the first thing I thought of is, um, you know, in London, you know, there's you know, six, seven clubs, you know, there's a lot of, you know, big teams and there's a lot of clubs, you know, in north, south, east of England, but um, of London, but here is, you know, two clubs in Milan, um, you know, two big clubs in Italian football and world football as well. So, yeah, I think that you can definitely feel there's a real, real intense rivalry and, you know, kind of whoever, whoever wins, you know, has the bragging rights of the city that day. And how do you feel, you know, when you were younger, you probably saw Milan, you know, as part of their great teams, you know, Kaka, et cetera. Do you feel like you're, you're part of that resurgence? And what, what's it like to feel a part of that? Yeah, I definitely feel a part of it. I want to try and make myself, you know, a part of it and, and, and feel it, you know. So, you know, you know, I'm trying to make the most of the experience, um, you know, trying to better myself, learn the language, understand the language, understand the, the style of play, everything like that, so that, you know, I really do feel part of it. Um, you know, as I said, I've been welcomed with open arms and it's been really good and everyone's helped me to to get to, um, you know, feel comfortable in the team. Um and, you know, it's still a long way to go in the season. And, you know, hopefully we can do something special so that all our names are are, are in the, the history books. And what's your go-to phrase in Italian? Can you, can you give me a few words? Uh, what, on the pitch or just the, in general? Well, what have your favourite is? Uh, my favourite? Uh, you know, it says gioca, which means like play. Uh, what's another one? Uh, subito is like uh, quickly, immediately. So I hear that a lot. Um, yeah, just just a lot of phrases on the pitch, off the pitch. Um, you know, destra, right, sinistra, left. You know, um, those kind of stuff is 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 what I've learned so far. A few more words that I can't think of immediately. I was just wondering, have you kept in touch with many of your Chelsea teammates since the move, and who's kind of who are the ones that you keep in touch with the most? Yeah, I mean, you know, Tammy, obviously, you know, Tammy and I, you know, we're friends, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. So, you know, we talk a lot and, uh, you know, before the games, I wish them good luck. You know, obviously, as I said, we're all friends off the pitch. So, you know, I want them all to do well. And, uh, you know, actually, I spoke to Tammy a few days ago because he, because, uh, you know, he was, he just wanted to see my hair because I haven't had a haircut in a while. So, uh, yeah, he was teasing me about that. And, um, yeah, you know, we, we, we keep in touch a lot of, um, often and, you know, we speak a lot and, um yeah, yeah it, it, obviously the time difference isn't too bad. So, yeah, it's just all good, going well and we'll, we'll keep talking. Uh, and what's it like to almost be away from your friends and family, you know, for the first time in terms of living in a different country? Yeah, it is, it is a lot different. Um, I think that, uh, you know, personally, you know, I've always kind of liked the idea of living in a different country. So, uh, you know, now that it's happened, it's kind of, you know, it's not really you know, much of a shock to me mentally, you know, I think I've kind of always mentally thought, you know, I've thought about it and thought it'd be nice. So, um, yeah, it's different. I think, um, you know, stuff like, you know, not be able to go to Tesco, for example, and picking up something that, you know, that you, that you know is going to be there, you know, here, you know, there's, there's not, um, you know, the typical stuff you find in England. So stuff like that is, is a bit different, but, um, yeah, overall I'm, I'm enjoying it. And, uh, obviously I can't see my family as much, especially as, as we mentioned before, with, with the COVID times, you know, we can't just, they can't just fly over for a couple of days, you know, so um, that, that's a bit difficult. But, 
you know, we're lucky we have FaceTime and stuff like that, so I can still still keep in touch with them and see their faces. I have to ask now, well, what do you miss most from your Tesco's and your supermarkets here? What do you reckon? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not really... <laughs> like, like, bread, for example, you know, if you want to get, like, Hovis bread, you know, there's not Hovis bread here, for example. So, um, you know, like, like I said, it's just those familiar things that you know, yeah, if I go to Tesco or Sainsbury's, you know, I can find this particular thing, something that, you know, you've grown up with your whole life. Um you know, and going to a different country, uh, you know, there's not, it's not going to be exactly the same, but no, I've still managed to get by and I've, I'm still alive. So it's all good. I wasn't expecting you to mention home is spread, but that's awesome. <laughs> that's um, the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> um, and also, uh, you kind of mentioned, obviously, you wish Chelsea well, etc. Obviously, since you've been at Milan and they've had a change of manager, and I know you obviously looked up to Lampard, Frank Lampard quite a lot. Um, I just want to ask quickly, uh, have you heard anything from Thomas Tuchel since his arrival at Chelsea? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, I think, you know, with him coming into a new job like this, you know, he's, uh, he's pretty much focused on the team and, you know, that's that's fine, you know, he's, he's a manager coming into a big team and, you know, and I think that would be difficult to, to you know, really go and you know, mess, message everyone. So he has to focus on the team, which is, you know, fair enough. And obviously they're doing well, they're picking up wins and, um, you know, I wish them all the best for the rest of the season and him all the best as well.